What is going on guys? Craig1287 here bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay. Yes indeed, Battlefield 3 gameplay. Recently uh, within TG we had a flashback Friday kind of a, a retro style thing where uh, if you wanted to participate, and this was on Good Friday actually, uh, you could uh, show up and play Battlefield 3. And uh, so some of us still had the game installed. I've had it still installed on my solid state drive, taking up all that glorious, sweet, precious, fast solid state speed. Don't know why it's not on my hard drive, but hey, whatever. So, uh, yeah, the game is still incredibly fun. I know recently, uh, not recently, but a, a little while back, I uploaded a video with uh, me and Gamer. We were rocking out some uh, Conquest Domination on the Close Quarters maps yeah. and uh, had just a blast playing it. So... It was it was nice getting in and playing this game again and there. I dominate that guy with the M5K at such range. Uh and that was just hysterical. I love getting those long shot, uh long, just deadly, slow, repeated hit, 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 hit. Why are you still standing there taking all of my hits? kills at those long ranges with the uh, PDWs and SMGs and all that good stuff. So yeah, uh, I participated in this event and uh, had a blast playing with one of the guys that is from Sweden. That was pretty intense. His ping was pretty crazy. And we end up joining this server and we join in just a little late. The round, the round had for the most part just begun. Um, and we were on the winning team and we were doing good stuff on the winning team. And then I got team switched. And to the losing team, and that was aggro. Oh, and look at this, another long shot, but now using the Scar L, because eventually I got fed up with uh, those long shots with the M5K, so I did switch. I love the Scar L, it's a laser pointer, uh, a, a very, or it's a laser gun, very deadly. And here's another thing, aside from the team switching stuff, is trying to shoot through cars. You can't do that in Battlefield 3, and I don't even think you can do it in BF4. And sometimes you it counts as shooting the car, and it would end up blowing up the car, and killing you or me and it happened to me a lot but uh yeah so um this is oh if you haven't already figured out this is a very very uh informal uh commentary i'm pretty much just kind of talking about the gameplay and have absolutely no script uh i did some editing and didn't really even bother watching the edits that i've made i'm just kind of watching the gameplay as it's happening right now and uh just kind of talking about it because it's battlefield 3 you know it's 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 not the hot new thing that battlefield 4 is and i really don't even think battlefield 4 is it's almost a year old so it's hard to just do these commentaries where you just kind of talk about what's going on uh uh, I did one of these a while back, and you guys seem to have uh, yeah. enjoyed it. And here, that guy camping in the corner. I have already gone from, like, so many different subject matters. I don't even know if I'll be able to remember what I was talking about, and I've gone to three or four different things. But this guy, that people camp in that spot so often. And so here I spawn back in, and all all I'm thinking about, my, my mission right now is to go kill this guy. And luckily I get a guy that's... That's uh, right there that I can spawn on. I just oh, I felt so good killing that guy. And my footage, something about the recordings, just make it speed up. This is not my doing right here, sadly, but hopefully it slows down. Yes! All right, this is a pretty intense fight. And we kind of just sped through a good chunk of it. But these corner fights were always so intense uh, with the revives and if, pretty much just reviving people as distractions. Uh, you don't really get to do that in Battlefield 4. For one thing, it takes so long to revive someone, uh, but also because if they uh, get killed too quickly after being revived, then they can't be revived again. I'm not saying that's a bad thing for Battlefield 4. In fact, that's definitely a much better, uh, more legitimate feature. Um, but in Battlefield 3, it always led to those interesting moments where I would literally revive people knowing that they would die and knowing that it would piss them off because all they're doing is just they're stuck in this, this spawn limbo where they, they can't ever get re uh, back into the action. But I'm using them as a meat shield because if I revive them, now the person that I'm fighting with around the corner has to shoot them or else they'll get taken out and they're already actively shooting them and it gives me a chance to pop around the corner and not die. And real quick, I do want to say that this part was crazy. Uh, these guys, I don't know what. I don't think they were in TeamSpeak or Ventrilo or Skype, but look at that. Frag, 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 
Frag! And frag! That was like six, seven, possibly even eight frags all going off in the same location. Like, they weren't V40 minis because they were not in this game. The only, I mean, like, the, the coordination from that was just crazy. And once again, my footage is speeding up. I gotta get that fixed. I really gotta just get that fixed. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> I managed to talk for, for this whole, however much that I was able to edit, a little over seven, seven minutes. And, uh, yeah, I, oh, dang, look at that. I got up to a thousand nine points. Uh, and I'm shooting at a friend. Craig, you suck, you suck at this game. But no, this game is just amazing. I never really even got to talking about the aftermath aspect of this. We, uh, did, oh, in this part right here, I jumped out here by accident and decide, ah, Nate will do something. But this guy nice me. I don't know what happened there. He was inside of the brick at one point. Uh, and at this point, I decide to, uh, re-attack this point but sadly my teammates had gone in and cleared them out mostly i only got a few kills but uh no i love this game still so much uh the whole quote-unquote netcode thing definitely makes the game feel a lot smoother but the these maps aftermath maps i was so crushed that these did not get remade none of them got remade for the second assault in battlefield 4 but these are by far my favorite maps in, B uh, in bf3 uh, I loved Caspian Border. I loved uh, Grand Bazaar. Uh, there's a few other ones that I that I thoroughly enjoyed, but these aftermath maps, all four of them, I loved so much. Possibly my favorite maps in all of the Battlefield series. Uh, which uh, there's a lot of Battlefield 2142 maps that are also impeccably designed. Impeccable. I don't know if that's the proper word for, it, but uh, amazingly designed. And, uh, so yeah, the, but these aftermath maps, the, the verticality that they offer, the urban combat that they offer, the way that they are, uh, the vehicle combat is still able to do well, the, the use of the scout choppers, uh, and it's just so great. So, and we won! Guys, hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Have a good one. That was horrible. Ta-ta!